Hello everyone. First of all, I want to say sorry for the lack of videos. Um, I recently moved into a new apartment, so I haven't been uploading much. I will be making new videos more often now, so stay tuned. The thing I want to talk about today is holes, and specifically drilling holes in your laptops. Now, of course, you might want to ask, why would I want to drill holes in a laptop? And as usual, there is an obvious answer, and that is thermal issues. As we all know, older Intel processors are not very good when it comes to thermals. They get pretty hot under load, especially i7. So I got tired of uh, my X20 getting as hot as 80 degrees sometimes and watching YouTube videos and doing tasks that shouldn't get your processor that hot. And I decided to go with a radical solution. I came across this article on the internet by Blazing Gray called Solving T400's Thermal Issues Once and For All. Now, of course, drilling holes in your perfectly working laptop sounds like a ridiculously bad idea. So that's why I decided to go for it. So I went to a hardware store and I bought this um, Aku Fine Bosch Life. I'm sorry. <laughs> and started implementing this terrible idea into life. Well, here's a quick video of the process. I did mess up the surface, but these laptops were so ugly. You can make them uglier by drilling some more holes in them, right? As you can see, I drilled a few larger holes that I thought didn't look that pretty. So I picked a smaller bit and yeah, that's, that's ugly as fuck. And even though the results were pretty impressive, I think it got about four or five less degrees. I tested it with the uh, Prime 95 and also tested temperatures in idle. And yeah, they're, they're kind of lower, but at the end, what really solved my thermal issues wasn't that. It was something else. So anyway, should you drill holes in laptop? Probably not, especially if it's not a cheap laptop you bought on eBay for like 100 euros. But while I was searching for people who did the same thing, I came across quite a lot of articles where people were describing how they drilled holes in their MacBooks, and how they put them in microwaves, and how that actually helped with thermal issues and other stuff. So I will let you be the judge and decide for yourself whether this is something you want to do or not. So yeah, that's, that's a short video I wanted to make. There are going to be more videos. Specifically, I would like to make a video about OpenBSD since I tried the system recently and I really liked it, which I'll tell about in the next video. I would also like to talk about Gen 2 because I'm running it right now as my daily driver and I think this is one of the best Linux distros I've tried so far. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.